Hello and welcome to Art Snacks. Today we're going to draw a frilled lizard. A frilled lizard. And I want to talk a little bit about what a frilled lizard is. They have the thin brown orange uh, like hood that sticks out around their head. It's their frill, right? And they have a large mouth, long digits or fingers, and sprawling legs. When these things get running, <laughs> if you've ever seen one, they can run on their back legs only. The funniest looking thing. They have a nickname called the bicycle lizard. Their habitat, these lizards spend most of their life in trees, and they're uh, primarily arboreal. And arboreal means what? They live in trees in what the north of Australia and New Guinea. They inhabit moist, tropical, warm, temperate forests and uh, the woodlands with shrubby, uh, shrubby understory. Okay, that's kind of where they live. And the frill is about, uh, let's see, about nine and a half to 14 inches long. Okay, when the lizard is, the frill is anyway, um, and when the lizard is at rest, um, they eat. Uh, well, what are they? Hmm. And see this. I, I'll leave that for you to figure out. What do they eat? Are they are they um, carnivores? Are they um, are they herbivores? Uh, what do they mostly eat? That's something I'll let you figure out. Okay. And they are reptiles. So let's get to going here. So let's start with the frills, right? So there's going to be frills here, and these frills are going to be these things that stick out. So we're going to draw almost like two big elephant ears. One, one over here. Let's make them big here. Let's see how I kind of changed that a little bit as I was going. It kind of comes up, comes down, and a big one over here. Kind of comes down like this. I'll get rid of these things over here. And that's the first shape I draw, okay? The first shape I draw. All right. Now on the edges of that, I'm going to put some little bumpy things here. I'm going to go back and put some bumpy things on there. Okay. Little bumpy things. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. So do that with me. And on the other side, kind of zigzaggy, and don't worry about making them perfect. Just make them bumpy. No two lizards are going to have the same ones anyway. So we don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to make a shape right here in the middle here. We're going to make a big shape going up and a big shape going down. Guess what that is? That's the lizard's mouth, and it's open, and it's got teeth in there, so let's make some teeth. And I wonder if those teeth could be a clue as to what the creature eats. What does it eat, I wonder? Mostly tacos, do you think? Hot dogs? <laughs> what does it eat? Now we have that mouth there, right? And we can put the tongue in there if we want to, bumpy, bumpy, little tongue there. We can make the back of its throat here nice and dark, like you're looking down its throat. Now it's time for the top of the head. It's going to go like this here. It's going to be bumpy on this side. Bumpy on this side. We'll put an eyeball here. An eyeball here. Okay, now if ever I go too fast, just pause the video and catch up, and then start the video back over. Okay, because sometimes it's too fast. Now we're going to make some little lines here that kind of come out this way. One, two, three, one two, three, and one coming up this way, and one coming up this way. Okay, that's the head. Now, it's a good fun start, isn't it? So let's go right in here, and let's make an arm, kind of coming down like this with some long digits. What digits? Fingers, right? That's what these are, little fingers. Coming back this way, coming up to the thing's elbow. And the other one's over here, and it's not shorter, it's just farther back, so it looks shorter, right? All right, and then its tail. Make it come. The body's gonna kind of come down this way. All right, and then another leg. Come back this way. One, two. Ooh, long finger. Three, four, five. And I have another lesson on art snacks too, where you can draw the iguana, and it has similar looking legs. Now I could draw one more leg over here if I want to. Now I don't see a lot of detail on that leg because it's way over there. Now I'm gonna bring the body down. I'm going to bring that tail around. Now, I don't have to bring a tail around, but I want to keep it in the picture. I don't want it to go off the picture right here. Now, this is cool. It's a good start. It would be a good lizard all by itself, right? But it's not very interesting to look at. So I'm going to get some color here, and I'm going to try to add some color to this thing. I'm going to add some gray. Its body is mostly gray, and that would be boring, but we're going to use other colors too. So gray, yeah, gray, gray, gray. It's a good start. 
Now it'd be a lot more fun if you draw this lizard in its natural habitat. And to do that, you're going to have to find out what its habitat is. Where does it live? Where does it live? We talked about that some, right? What biome does this creature live in? Now I'm going to make the head gray too with my gray crayon. I'm not going to go over the eyes and all the detail here. I'm going to steal a pink in a little bit and make its tongue. In fact, I'll use red. Be more dramatic. Make its tongue kind of red. Top of its body, kind of red. That's kind of dramatic there. <sighs> now, at the very top of these frills, I'm going to make gray. And I'm going to come down, and it's going to change color. And this is where this gets fun. This lizard is really strange. It's almost like a flower because these are almost like the petals, and they're really pretty, actually. I don't want one hissing at me, but I'm going to go to now orange. Orange, yes, orange, orange, around this part here. Now, see, I'm not really not doing it a specific way, just kind of making all these lines come out, sort of come out like they're bursting out from the inside, out toward the outside, because I've got one more color I want to use still. I'm going to use orange, and then I'm going to use yellow. Yellow to really make it bright here. So I'm going to grab a yellow. Let's see if I can find me a yellow here. Yellow. Digging through my crown pile. There we go. There's a yellow. Now I'm going to grab yellow and go to the edges of this frill. There's the frills. I like to blend my colors together. Take the yellow and take it into the orange some. Now that might have been just a regular old lizard. Two things, right? Bright colors and that crazy hood that sticks up there called the frill, right? Now if I want to add some color in the background, I could do that pretty quick. I could see if I can find me a nice, yeah, there's a brown there, and I could take this into the background and kind of add the ground here. These things live a lot of their lives in trees, so this could be a branch on a tree, top and bottom of a branch on a tree, and I could try to make that look like bark by putting lines through here. I don't want to go over my details on my lizard. But make some dark. And with the same crayon, I can color twice. I can push down hard and get a dark brown, and I can push down light and get a light brown. And if you're allowed to, and you have to ask your teacher first, but if you're allowed to and you've got old crayons, peeling off the side lets you draw with the side of the crayon and draw a lot. You can draw a lot really fast. And so if you don't have much time to, for recess, and you like your lizard, but you also like your recess, <laughs> sometimes you want to go a little faster. And so using the side of the crayon lets you do that. Now, a couple of leaves wouldn't hurt just so people understand that this isn't a branch in a tree. When I do leaves, I like to do them kind of fast. So there's my sort of some leaves in the background. It's nice to have more than one color of green when you do these leaves. So I'm going to use a dark green and a light green. I'm going to do some fast leaves. So Some fast leaves in the background. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one. And you don't need a lot of them because this drawing isn't about the leaves, it's about the lizard. The leaves just happen to be there to add a little more detail, to make it look a little more realistic. So don't worry if you have a trillion leaves, just a few will make it look more believable. And that is the frilled lizard. See you next time.